In this presentation, we're going to have a look at the Anzari Bradley test. This is actually an inbuilt test in R. It comes straight. Uh, you can run this uh, straight, uh, st uh, straight from the box when using R. Uh, the command is Anzari, uh, A N S A R I dot test. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Anzari. And uh, it's yeah, it's a D, it's one of the sort of uh, inbuilt commands in R. But what does it do? Well, description of the Anzari test. Now, this is actually from the help file. I'm going to talk about the help file shortly, but it performs the Anzari Bradley two sample test for a difference in scale parameter. Okay. Uh, all well and good, actually. But just actually, let's remind ourselves what scale parameter is. It is. Uh, scale parameter is uh, related to dispersion and variability, for example, variance. Uh, you might also sort of say location. So scale is one thing. Location would be the other thing. Scale would sort of correspond to dispersion or variability. Location would correspond to mean and median. Actually, something I should have added there. It actually is a could be considered a non-parametric test. I should have probably mentioned that. Actually, I think I did. Hang on a second. It's only the okay. It may be necessary. Uh, to test the differences in spread or scale or dispersion or variability when assuming that the centers of two populations are identical. Okay, so uh, we assume that the centers, which is to say the medians, okay, or, or mean or medians of two populations are identical, but we want to sort of test is the variance, the variability or the dispersion or the spread um, uh, the same for both as well. So, for example, this might be useful for methods of measurement, okay? And the so, if you're repeatedly uh, testing the same thing, it's what are called an assay method. So, it's actually where you might sort of see this in uh, laboratory work, uh, where you do multiple tests to just get a measurement. Okay, uh, that's uh, that's uh, just a sort of application. Anyway, non uh, there we are. Non-parametric test for equality variance is a sort of the way you could sort of sum it all up. Okay. So, used to, okay, the null hypothesis is that the two population distribution functions correspond to the two samples. Okay, so what we do is supply two samples uh, to the function or uh, data sets, and the under the null hypothesis they have the same. Yeah, down here, so it says under both hypotheses, centrality is the same. So. Uh, it doesn't. This uh, test it doesn't really say anything about the median. It just sort of assumes, no matter what, that the median is the same in both cases. The means and the medians are the same in both cases. But what it does test is that they differ by dispersion. That's why we would sort of say it's a sort of more or less a, a non-parametric equivalent of the test for quality of variances. Okay. Did I say that actually? I probably variances actually. The, the, uh, non-parametric. It's, it's a, sorry, non-parametric equivalent to the test for equality of variances. So variances is sort of parametric uh, sort of property. So slightly miss badly phrased there. So it's a non-parametric equivalent for the test, the F test. Okay. Anyway, assumptions are that the, within each sample the observations are independent, and identically distributed and that they're independent of each other with equal medians. Okay, that's something I just sort of mentioned there before. Okay, uh, let's go to the help file for this. Uh, there we are, performs the Ansari Bradley 2 template. Okay, I've actually sort of mentioned that already. Uh, so, uh, Ansari, down here I have two sample, uh, d uh, X and Y. It's all the usual stuff for beyond that. Um, for uh, two side, one side and all that and confidence intervals and so on. But what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to use this data set down here at the bottom. So there's two data sets down here, the help file, and I'm going to have a look at those. And there we go, go all the way down here. So Ramsey and Zhang Parek, if I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So let's run those. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll just put this into R straight away and then just go over it again. Where do I have R? So I'm just going to put that into R. There's the test. But actually, just bear with me a second. What I'm going to do is clear that now. And let's sort of go, to go back here. So I'm going to just call Ramsey. I'm just going to shorten the name to R. And JP Jung, Jung, Jung Parek. Okay. So mean of R 
and median of R or Ramsey data set 104.905 let's do the same for JP yeah more or less in both cases we could sort of say more or less that these two samples sort of indicate that the population uh, more or less is the same centrality because the mean and medians are uh, more or less you know they're not exactly different from each other in fact all four values are quite consistent with each other let's do the standard deviation of R and also the MAD of R the that's a sort of non parametric measure of dispersion and let's do something similar for the other data set uh, MAD is actually an interesting it's a sort of uh, unusual sort of non uh, non parametric so to speak uh, non parametrics uh what's not the, not the right word uh measure of um um dispersion okay you notice that the they're quite different there for all, the mad is quite different there for mean absolute dispersion or the deviation for r and jp but uh, the thing is the standard deviations don't look that different from each other okay so uh, it's up in the air so let's do the test so I ha I just shortened the name to R and uh, JP. So it's Anzari test R and JP. Anzari test Bradley test R and JP. The p value there is not point one eight one five. Okay. So true ratio of scales is not equal to one. So essentially if they have the same sort of dispersion okay they have this thing called a scale parameter and if they have more or less the same dispersion the scale parameter would be um, uh, equal in both cases so if you divide one scale parameter by another scale parameter essentially you get one that's why we sort of say the true ratio uh, is not equal to one uh, it just goes off screen there but in this case what we're saying is uh, we're looking at the null hypothesis here and the p-value. The null hypothesis is that it is equal to 1. The p-value says fail to reject the null hypothesis. Good. Now this is a non-parametric test so it, all, it, it actually would sort of uh, sort of assume that there are no ties in the values. That's a, so just the sort of way that non-parametric tests uh, are carried out that there's no ties. Uh, there's a sort of another setting there you can get used to get rid of that exact that sort of said uh, that said that an exact p-value can't be computed what you can do there is have this exact p-value false that it's not required really and so it just cuts out that error message basically all right that's the Anzari Bradley test